What's up guys? If you're new here, my name is Jesse Batris. Welcome to my channel. So I touched a little bit on computer science math courses in my last video. Too old to go back to school for computer science. By the way, check that out if you get a chance. I do cover other things that you should definitely think about if you're considering going back to school for a computer science degree. Back to math. I hadn't taken a math course in like seven years before going back to school for my computer science degree. I did feel incredibly rusty and I honestly didn't know where to begin in order to get myself into decent shape to be able to take on the level of math that I was gonna encounter at the start of my CS degree. So of course I scavenged for information online just to see if there was you know, a resource or maybe a, a, a class that I could take in order to just brush up again and feel comfortable with math. Now this is going to be different for each of you. You are currently in one of three buckets right now. Either you haven't taken a single college course and you're just now about to start with your bachelor's degree, or you're in the middle of your bachelor's degree or you're close to finishing one up and you wanna change your major to computer science, or you have your bachelor's degree that's not a bachelor's in computer science and you're thinking about going back to school for a bachelor's in computer science or maybe even a master's in computer science. Each of you have similar questions. Probably the most common one is, do I need to be graded math? No, you don't have to be great at math. Let's get that out of the way. You know what, let's do a transition. Let's get that out of the way. Your next two questions are most likely, how many math courses do I need to take? And specifically, which math courses? Now this all depends on the bucket that you're in, but it also depends on the school or the schools that you're applying to. First, let's look at the common math courses that most computer science programs are gonna require you to take. You'll need college algebra, statistics, and calculus one at a minimum. And that's typically the order in which you'll take those courses. Now, some universities, not all, will require you to take calculus two and calculus three. Bastards. Eventually, you will get to a course called discrete math, but that's when you're already in your computer science program and you've already knocked out all these other courses that I've mentioned. You will hear me bring up discrete math a couple of more times, but don't worry about that now. That's not relevant until you're actually already in your computer science program. Let's go ahead and break this down by bucket. So bucket number one. Those of you who haven't started college or you're very, very early on in your college career and are knocking out your basics, you may need to take an intro to algebra course before you can even take college algebra, followed by statistics, followed by calculus one. And remember, depending on the school that you go to, you may be required to take Calculus 2 and Calculus 3. So you'll need anywhere from four to six math courses before you ever even get to discrete math, which again, isn't required until you're already in your computer science program. And that's the course that really kind of starts to bring in that computer science aspect of math. Next up, bucket number two. Those of you who are a little further into your college career, you may have already taken college algebra, but you still need statistics and Calculus 1 and maybe Calculus 2 and Calculus 3. So you guys need probably about two to four additional math courses before you get to discrete math. And to those of you in bucket number three, you completed a bachelor's degree, but what did you major in? If your major emphasized math, you will literally feel a shining light beam down on you and you will breathe a sigh of relief. That's my dog shaking in the background. Kazo, this is the other half of my heart. My wife has one half, my baby Kozlo has the other half. So there's a chance that you're all set and you can immediately start with discrete math. But again, it depends on the school that you're applying to. So you may need calculus two and calculus three. So you may be looking at two math courses before getting to discrete structures. Now there's a separate group within this bucket number three. Now if your major did not emphasize math, Take a look at the courses that you took in your first two years of school when you took those basics. Basic ed. Hopefully you reached the college algebra level and so then that means all you gotta take is statistics and calculus one and possibly calculus two and calculus three. Bruh. I know, I know, I know. So that's two to four math courses for that group. Here's a chart of all three buckets. Feel free to take a screenshot, see exactly which bucket that you fall in and take a look at the math courses that you've already completed. Now this is the math course that I took which helped me brush up on my math and I felt a lot more prepared once I started my degree. 
Arizona State University's online college algebra course, and I have included the link in the description. It's offered through edX and is completely self-paced. I'm not sponsored by edX, by the way. There's several modules that you can cover and you can repeat concepts until you really feel comfortable with that concept and then you move on to the next one. It was super easy to sign up for. There is actually a $29 a month subscription in order to register for edX courses, but you can cancel that subscription at any time. The course does state that it'll take you about 15 weeks to complete. Here's my two cents on that. I probably spent about eight to 10 weeks going through the lessons for a total of six to seven weeks. For me, that was good enough. But in your case, you may review the material in a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time. Again, you can cancel your subscription at any time. I actually canceled mine after two months. Although there's other courses in there you can look into and sign up for. Now this next course I actually didn't take before joining my CS program, but it probably would have been a little bit beneficial for me to really dive into it and do a little bit of research on it at least. And that's a discrete math course online. I can't speak to any specific discrete math course on edX or Coursera or Udemy or any of those other online platforms or even the quality of the material that's available there. I'm just saying that there's different online discrete math courses that you can look into, maybe pay a 20 to $30 a month subscription and at least do some research, get a feel for it before you start your discrete math course in your CS program that's gonna cost you $1,000 or $2,000 and at least you feel a little bit more prepared. Please don't feel like you need to sign up for an online math course or pay for a monthly subscription. There's so much free material online. There's a whole bunch of videos on YouTube that cover college algebra and discrete math concepts. For my learning style, I needed to go through those modules and to go through those problems and make mistakes and go through the question again and again and again until I really grasped the logic. It was incredibly helpful for me and I didn't overwhelm myself trying to learn every single little detail or every single little step. My goal was to refresh myself, just grasp the concepts once again so that I didn't feel like I was going completely blind into my CS program. Guys, I'm not great at math. I actually had to take an intro to algebra course before I even got to college algebra, so I had to take quite a few math courses. Then I went years without covering these concepts. I reviewed some of this material, got comfortable with it again, and I did pretty well in discrete math. Please don't let doubt or fear be the barrier why you decide to not pursue a CS degree. Honestly, if I can do it, so can you. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to smash the like button and to subscribe. And please check out my other videos. I actually got some kind of terrible burns on my arms from when my wife actually dragged me into another room during my computer science horror story video. So you might get a laugh out of that. I got a lot more content coming your way. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, my boy. What is it? What is it? Come here, baby. Come here. My baby, yes.